Welcome back, loves. So I'm announcing today a start of my new series. Can y'all tell what the series is going to be about? Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let y'all guess on that. But I feel like y'all will guess what the series is going to be off of this first look, okay? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this look. Okay, so we're gonna start like we always do. I'm gonna start with my brows using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. And I do have a video on how I do my brows. Y'all know this, I'll link it in the description box below. So of course, we're just gonna speed through these brows. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our P. Louise Eye Base. This is in the color um, 01. This is the Rumor 01 base. So it's like a um, flat white base. But y'all, this is like one of the best bases that I've ever used. I've always, in the past, never used a primer for the eyes. I would just use a um, concealer that was way lighter than me. Kind of the same thing that this base is doing. And then I would set it with a translucent powder so my eyeshadows will pop but for these bases you don't set them you don't set them with the powder like I would use to do with a translucent um, you just put it on the eyes and you really really have to blend it out um, the only thing with these bases are that they do crease if you don't continue to blend them so like I blend one eye and then I apply eyeshadow and then before I get to the other eye I'll blend again just to make sure there's no creases because if there's creases in the base there will be creases in your eyeshadow and you don't want that so as you see here I'm just blending 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 I didn't use a whole lot of the base because this look um, I don't feel like this look is going to require me to use a whole lot of it and this look is vibrant um, very vibrant blues but like I said, I don't feel like I have to use a whole bunch of the base to get the pigment that I am desiring. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna keep on blending and then we're gonna go into the eyeshadow look. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Acritique palette by Juvia's and we're gonna use that royal blue color that I pointed at. 
you can tell it's one of my favorite blues because I'm almost hitting pan <laughs> I wish they sold these colors separately I would totally buy this blue um, separately but I'm going to pack this blue this vibrant blue into my inner corner area and I'm going to create kind of a half cut crease so this color won't go all the way to the end of the eye it's just going to be in the front so we're just going to continue to blend this out and then we're going to add some other colors to it to kind of diffuse the darker blue Okay, so now we're gonna go into the Warrior 3 palette and we're gonna use that light blue shade and we're gonna diffuse the deeper blue color. So for the series that we're doing, I guess I'll go ahead and say it. Um, basketball is going on right now. My husband is a huge, huge, huge basketball fan. So I have decided to do a whole series based off of some of his jerseys that or some of the players that he loved the most. So um, this look will be based off Kobe Bryant in a Los Angeles um, jersey. This is when he was number eight before he switched to number 24. So this jersey is a vibrant blue jersey. So it's light blue, dark blue, and white. So you'll see how it all ties together towards the end. So I'm just diffusing that dark blue color and you're gonna see me keep going back and forth and back and forth with the deeper blue and the lighter blue because I'm trying to make them like blend perfectly um, so there aren't any harsh lines because I hate harsh lines. So I'll end up switching brushes because one brush was a little too big for what I was trying to do. So um, you'll see me going back and forth with that as well. So right now we're just gonna keep blending and then after we do this, we're going to cut the crease. Okay, so my new favorite thing is taking miscel—I don't know how to pronounce miscellaneous cleansing water. We're just gonna say cleansing water, and I cut my crease. So this is how I get my super precise cut creases. Um, some people use Vaseline, which I've tried, which I'm not really a fan of, so I don't use Vaseline anymore. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut the crease with some cleansing water and a Q-tip. So this is like the easiest way that I've seen to get that. To clean, pretty much clean up the whole area so your base that you cut the crease with after this um, is super super clean okay with no other colors like mixing in it so I absolutely love this method so if y'all are using this method or using another method you can always um, link your method in my description box below I'll go and watch your video how you do yours but um, I love this method so far on how I've been cutting my creases so I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to use that same P. Louise base um, that I used earlier to cut the crease again.
Okay, so I'm going in with that P. Louise base like I told you I would, and I'm cutting the crease. So I'm trying to get as precise as I can, and of course sometimes I kind of like go out of the line and I just correct that. Um, cutting a crease is not hard, but it's not beginner friendly either. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video on beginner friendly cut crease on how to make it beginner friendly. I haven't seen one like that before. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to cut the crease, and then once we do that, we're going to set it with a powder. Okay, so here I'm packing on a white shadow. So it's nothing special, just packing that on, kind of setting that base because I do want this part of the eye to be white. So I'm packing on, like I said, a very, very matte white eyeshadow and just setting that base. Okay, so we're gonna cre create a diffused wing. So what I mean by that is I'm going to pack on this dark blue shade. So this is the same royal blue shade that we used earlier. So it was the first shade that we laid down. We're going to use this on the outside of the eye. And we're going to diffuse it with that same light blue eyeshadow um, that we used earlier.
Okay, so here I decided that I needed a little bit more of that blue. Um, I need to put it, place it a little bit higher um, to get that super, super sharp winged effect. So that's what I did. I added a little bit more of the royal blue, a little bit more of the baby blue, and then I was done messing with that eye. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat the same steps that I did on the first side, on the second eye. So we're just going to fast forward through this because you saw exactly what I did the first time. Okay, so I, it's not perfect, but I did draw the number eight on my face, well, on my eye for the Cobra Bryant jersey. So now I'm going to do my face. I'm going to use my Milk Primer. It's the Hydro Grip Primer. It's so good, y'all. Literally, it is tacky. It gives the skin a really good bounce back, and it's just a really good primer for the, the skin. Um, for any foundation that I've used so far and I've used maybe three or four foundations so it coincides with all foundations all the ones that I've used okay so I forgot that I didn't add my lashes so now I'm going to add my lashes in code blue thank my sister for these they got sent back to me in the mail and she was like you can just have them because I don't wear makeup like that and I don't know when I'm going to use them so we did send her these for a little giveaway we had, but since she didn't want them, I took them. So these are really, really beautiful. These are from ICU Lash Lounge. These are one of my favorite pair of lashes. And y'all are gonna see why. And you can use my code A underscore Rena15 for some money off. Who doesn't like a deal? So it's A Y underscore R E N A 15 for some money off okay so now we're gonna go to the face these have been my favorite two combinations to use lately it's my L'Oreal infallible foundation it's their fresh wear and I mix it with my NARS long wear radiant I've been liking a glow lately um, rather than more of a matte look I have certain parts of my face I want to glow and then certain parts of my face I want to be matte um, so wherever you see I add a majority of my translucent powder or my setting powder, that's where I want my face to be more matte. And then when you don't see me add powder, that's where I want my face to be more dewy. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just going to um, fast forward through this part. And of course, I'm just going to do my concealer, my contouring, and then we're just going to, and that'll be it.
Okay, so in my latest video, I showed you guys how I've changed up my concealer routine. So I'm going to also link that video in the description box below so you know what products that I'm using and the method that I'm not using. I thought this was really cute and I put this number eight on my forehead, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing that lately. But anyways, I always let my concealer dry down and then I'm going to take my contour in suede mocha and I always use my Makeup Forever uh, foundation brush which I absolutely love and I'm just contouring I got that chin, get my cheeks, my forehead and then we're just going to blend everything out. Okay, so after I have set my face with my setting powder, I'm going in with my True Complexion Contour Palette, and this is medium to dark, and I'm going to contour all those areas that, um, well, set all the areas that I apply a cream contour. Okay, so I'm using an oldie buddy goodie. This is the Anastasia Aurora 2 highlight palette. And I'm going in with that gold and blue highlight. Because of course, why not? My eyes are blue. The look is all about the blue. So we're using that highlight. Okay, so now we're going to dust off of that excess powder that we have baking underneath my cheekbones. So I'm using my Lancome Dual Finish Powder in the color 460 and a big fluffy brush. And I'm just dusting over the areas where I still have powder and just pretty much setting the whole face so my makeup can last all day long and give me a flawless look. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of blush. I really, the name has erased off of this palette, but it is a Juvia's Place blush palette. And I'm going to that brown shade in that palette, but it comes off orange on me. Um, but I thought it'd be a really, really beautiful neutral blush. Okay, so with the same colors that we put at the top, we're going to put at the bottom. So that dark blue and that light blue. Okay, so I had to draw this literally like five times on my hand to make sure that uh, I got it right. But I still feel like I got it backwards. It is what it is. I just wanted to draw the LA on my face. I should have drawn it going the other way. <laughs> and my husband was like, isn't it backwards? And I was like, no, no, no. But after I watched this video, yes, it's indeed backwards. But y'all get the point, okay? Okay, so I'm using my NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner on the lips. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a nude, but anyways, I feel like a nude goes perfectly with blues for brown, for darker skin tones. So I'm just gonna blend this brown in, and then we're gonna go in with the NYX London uh, Suede Lipstick. And that's gonna give me a really, really pretty nude. And I'm also gonna go in with Shy, which is the NYX Lingerie Lip Glosses. And I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of concealer and um, some gloss to really, really give me a nude look. So I'm gonna add some of my e.l.f. Medium Golden um, Concealer on top of it to kind of lighten it up a bit. So I'm topping everything off with a little bit of gloss. But y'all, this is the finished look. I love it so much. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you love what I'm putting out. And if there's anything else y'all want to see, just let me know. And RIP Black Mamba. Bye y'all.